Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler. My name is DJ and today we're going to be looking at a bunch of new products that you hopefully will get under your Christmas tree this year. We're going to start off with the big boys today and we're going to start with Lionel's new Tier 4 Norfolk Southern set. Check it out. Whoop. Let's go forward. As you can see here I have a Norfolk Southern Diesel, number 3607 with the complete sound system, the horn, the bell, and announcement features. NS3607, medium clear, 292 west, now. All right, and I have here a high cube box car with opening doors, so you can put whatever you want inside of there. I got my auto rack carrier car right there. And of course, I got my well car here with two containers on top that do come out. You can also add additional cars to this set if you want to make it a nice long Norfolk Southern train. Now the neat thing about this set is just like the Polar Express set in our last video, they run on the remote controls or I can actually use my phone and I can operate this train via the Bluetooth app. It comes with an oval track, a 40 by 60 inch oval and the, once again we have the Lionel Fast Track which has a road bed built into it. So if you want to put it down on the floor, especially around that Christmas tree, this is the ideal setup for you. This set retails for $399.99. We're selling it for $360, and you get a really great looking set with die cast metal couplers and trucks. Uh, actually, if you take a look at the cars here, you're going to see that they actually have spring-loaded trucks there for that added detail and realism. And I think that's a really neat look there. So a lot of people like to get the sets of the trains that they see out there on the rails today. I think this is a great one to go with. All aboard. NS3607, clear signal at milepost 294 west. Now. So for our HO modelers out there, we got these brand new uh, cars from Scale Trains. These are actually the Trinity Backpackers. And you know what? I actually have a guy here named Ed who does a lot of R&D for model railroading. And he's got to tell you a lot more about it than I can. Ed, take it away. Hey, everybody. How are you? Uh, so the Scale Trains Trinity Backpacker is a beautiful car. And it's, it's very um, important to intermodal modelers from the late 80s to uh, the early 2000s. Some of the things that are significant about this particular model is... It was one of the first intermodal cars that were able to accept solely containers. So a lot of times it was all a container on flat car. Trinity came out with this car in the late 80s and you could see some of the significant details of it are the, the squared wells, uh, beautiful detail for the ribs and cords going down the center of the well body itself. They have a, a really nice weight to them so you could run them empty. And this is the first time that the cars have ever been modeled where they had the enclosed truck sides. So, um, great car uh, I want to thank Shane and uh, and the team at scale trains for doing a phenomenal job on them all of their products and uh, appreciate you guys for letting me talk all right so as you heard there's a lot of great detailing that goes with these cars it is a five pack and they're all made of die cast metal so if you like a nice uh, hefty car to put on your rails these are the ones for you we're selling them at our store for $139.99. Might seem like a lot for a uh, rolling stock piece, but remember, you are getting five. You get a, a solid quality it's from scale trains like you always uh, expect. And as I said, die cast metal, it's the way to go. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, what can I put in these wild cars? Well, scale trains got you covered. We got a lot of operator containers here. We have the individual packs or we got the three packs. As you can see, I have many different variations here. So you can mix them up, just like you see on the real railroad, or you can make it a nice unit train, nice and uniform, depending on your preference. Okay, it's scale trains time part two, and this time we're talking about some Dash 9s. And these are fantastic locomotives that we have on our display track. Let's check them out. All right, so there we got our first one, which is the Burlington Northern Santa Fe, or BNSF Pumpkin. That is the, if I'm getting specific, the GE C44-9W. That has the H2 scheme. Our second locomotive here is another Burlington Northern Santa Fe. And what's really neat about this one is actually it's a little bit weathered. As you can see, I have some rust. This is the H2 scheme with the H1 hood. And that is what they call the Frankenstein colors. 
So that is a great looking engine. If you were looking for one that looks a little bit more weathered, a little bit more used on your railroad, that's the direction you might want to go in. I got a Southern Pacific Dash 9 here, and this is what they call as delivered, meaning that when the manufacturer delivered it to the Southern Pacific, this is exactly how the engine looks. So it's not going to look any better than that. And then I have some Norfolk Southerns here. These are both the early dash frame stripe designs. I got the 9597 and the 9550. And those are great looking locomotives. Every single one of these engines has the true color paint design. They all have ESU lock sound. And there's tremendous amount of detailing happening here. Of course, you wouldn't expect anything less from scale trains. So some of these engines have a lot of great detail. For example, if you look at the Southern Pacific, you see not only do I have a knuckle basket to put a spare coupler in there, but I also have a spear recorder, uh, which is you know, just great detailing, little added things that really make these engines stick out and go above the rest. These engines are being sold at Yankee Dappler for $269.99, except for the Frankenstein engine, because of the added uh, weathering. This one's a little bit more, this one's $279. But round 270 for all these engines here you can't go wrong with anything from scale trains and just like we always do let's check one of these out all right so we're going to take a look at one of these we're going to take a look at the frankenstein oh frankenstein with your led headlights so bright won't you guide my train tonight here we go And here we are, all aboard. All right, that's a great sounding engine. If you want that around your Christmas tree this year, make sure that you check out our store at Yankee Dabbler or come to our website, yankeedabbler.com, and you can purchase your own Dash 9 scale train diesel engine. I want to give a special shout out to Ed for helping us with the uh, well cars. Thank you very much for your expertise in that field. And if you're not already a subscriber to Engineer Hall, make sure you click that subscribe button to be caught up on all of the brand new Engineer Hall videos that we have weekly. All right, thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here at Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.